Life in prison without parole. That is the sentence for the man found guilty of murdering Karina Vitrano. She went for a run in her Queens neighborhood. Some truly emotional moments today in court. Vitrano's father and mother speaking directly to their daughter's convicted killer. Suffered and died a million deaths every second of every day. You breathe, you ate, you searched your phone for pornography and forcible rape. But God was watching you all the time, Chanel and Lewis. As the judge handed down that sentence, protests erupted in the courtroom and then spilled outside into the streets. This afternoon, one family is crying justice for Chanel, while another family, the Vetranos, are declaring justice has been served. News Force Roseanne Coletti now has the story live in Howard Beach this afternoon. Roseanne. Well, that's right, and the Vetranos did find some peace out here this afternoon in this park. A respite from two and a half tumultuous years and the events in the courtroom today. Protests outside on the sidewalk and street and inside prior to sentencing. Descriptions of their suffering and loss. Only my faith in God and my belief in heaven keeps me from killing myself for fear of not being allowed into heaven to see my baby again. Describing his family walking the earth as zombies just waiting to see Karina, Phil Vetrano told 22-year-old Channel Lewis his daughter had a message for him. She told me that if you stand up here today in court and ask for her forgiveness, tell her you're sorry, she will forgive you. But remember, those are not my words, and I will never forgive you. Kathy Vetrano holding up the shoes her daughter wore to work the day she was beaten, sexually abused, and murdered while running alone. As an alleged God-fearing man, I will remind you that the very second you laid your loathsome hand upon a child of God, my daughter, my innocent daughter, you rejected the Holy Spirit and carried out the work of Satan. Vetrano's sister and brother also urging the maximum sentence. Lewis mumbling just a few words, saying he was innocent and sorry for the family. I don't even want to say, Judge, that I'm innocent. I'm sorry for the family's loss, but I didn't do this. The judge handing him life in prison without parole for the strangulation murder of the 30-year-old speech pathologist. For her family, the end of a long road, leading them to share their feelings at Karina's memorial near their Howard Beach home. For the mother of Channel Lewis and his supporters, the beginning of a legal appeal. God is going to vindicate my son yes. because it's not over. God said it's not over. And all I see today inside a courtroom is the devil work. Mm. And both sides making references to God to a higher authority today. Now, Lewis's family has maintained that his confession was coerced, his DNA planted. Vetrano's family and Phil Vetrano himself saying today that justice was served. There was justice for everybody. Karina received justice and her killer received justice. Reporting live from Howard Beach, I'm Roseanne Coletti, News 4 New York. Roseanne, thank you very much. Hey YouTube, thanks for watching this video from NBC4 New York. You can stay up to date by hitting the subscribe button below me. Also on the left, you can see some of our latest updates, investigations, and features. We'll see you next time.